Hello everyone. In this video, I will discuss about the maturation, activation and the differentiation of B cells. Means what are the different stages which a B cell undergo during its maturation, how B cell get activated and how it get differentiated. So all of these will cover in this video. So without any delay, let's move to the video. First, maturation of B cells. So what it means? Maturation. So maturation means when a B cell formed from a hematopoietic stem cell that is HSCs. Now it will undergo some developmental stages which ultimately leads to its maturation. So the maturation of B cell involves its production from hematopoietic stem cell to the development of a mature B cell. And the B cell maturation it begins in the fetal liver and continue in the bone marrow throughout the life. Now during its maturation B cell undergo a kind of selection process by which the receptors on the B cells they are verified means whether they are functional or not, whether they are functional against the self antigen or not. So in that case there are two kind of selection procedure First, positive selection. In this selection procedure, the B cell, firstly the B cell is assessed for the functionality of its antigen binding receptor. Means the receptor present on the B cell, they are just verified or you can say they are checked whether they are functioning properly or not. So this is called the positive selection. While in case of negative selection, there is a mechanism which just check the B cell that whether it contain any self reacting receptor or self reacting B cell. So this negative selection it just eliminate the self reacting B cell and will not allow that B cell to mature or develop. So this is the negative selection. In the positive selection the functions of normal receptor has been verified while in the negative selection the self reacting B cells they are just eliminated and they do not allow to mature and why this selection procedure is there just to avoid the any autoimmune disease during negative selection the you can see the auto B cells which are acting against the self antigen they are eliminated so it just avoid the autoimmune diseases and the immature B cell it pass the selection in the bone marrow and after that it travel to spleen for the final stage of its maturation and in the spleen it become a mature B cell where it is called as navy B cell. Navy B cell is that B cell which is mature but that has not been encountered with any antigen. So that is the navy mature B cell. Now the stages of B cell development or maturation so during its maturation B cell undergo the following developmental stages like hematopoietic stem cell, progenitor B cell that is pro B cell, precursor B cell that is pre B cell, immature B cell and mature B cell means starting from the hematopoietic stem cell. The maturation progress through these developmental stages and ultimately reach to the mature B cell and each of these stages it is characterized by some specific cell surface markers by which you can identify the stage of B cell development. So first the pro B cell stage. So it is the very early stage in the B cell maturation because after the hematopoietic stem cell the very next stage is the pro B stage and it has the following marker like CD45 immunoglobin alpha and beta heterodimer CD19, CD24 and CD43. So these are the markers which are present on the surface of B cell when it is in the pro B cell stage. Next stage is pre B cell that is precursor B cell stage. Here there is a you can the starting of translation of heavy chains. Firstly, the mu chain is synthesized means in this stage pre B cell stage the heavy chains they are start building and mu chain is firstly synthesized. No light chain is synthesized during this 
stage and there is small peptides which are sometimes called as surrogate light chains are synthesized in this stage but these are not true light chains and the mu chain and the surrogate light chain complex it is associated with ig alpha and ig beta heterodimer to form pre b cell receptor means the receptor of this pre b cell is composed of mu chain surrogate light chain which are complex with ig alpha and ig beta next stage is immature b cell here the formation of light chain begins and only one type of light chain will be expressed that may either be kappa or lambda never both as you know the they only contain one type of light chain that may be either kappa light chain or lambda light chain and this light chain it is associated with the mu chain so a true igm receptor has been developed on the stage of b cell in this stage that is immature b cell stage in this stage the receptor is igm the next mature b cell that progression from the immature b cell to now cell this b cell get mature and the maturation is characterized by the presence of igm and igd on its surface and the mature b cell it now leaves the bone marrow and it goes to the lymphoid tissue where it get activated when it encountered the antigen and after the activation it is produced two types of b cells that is plasma b cells which produce the antibodies and memory b cells which produce secondary immune response and when the body encountered with the same antigen if a mature b cell cannot encounter the antigen so they are die within the few days by the apoptosis means the, if they are not activated so they will die itself by the apoptosis after few days now the next is the activation of b cell as the b cell is mature now and move from bone marrow to the lymphoid tissue and it is now you can say it is now ready for the encounter with the antigen so how it get activated this b cell is activated when an antigen binds to its receptor and after the activation this b cell get make either plasma b cells or memory b cells but this activation it can be of two type that is t cell dependent activation or t cell independent activation when they require the t cell for the activation so that activation is a t cell dependent and when they do not require the t cell they get activated by themselves or they get activated directly without the help of t cell so that activation is known as the t cell independent activation this is the t dependent b cell activation so what exactly happens during this type of activation so as the name indicating t dependent so here they require the t cell for their activation so here this it this diagram it represent a mature b cell having the b cell receptor which is an antibody so as the antigen it bind to the antibody means now the b cell is get activated as the antigen bounded to its receptor but as this antigen is now attached to the mhc major histocompatibility complex present within the b cell so that's why we can say that b cell also act as an antigen presenting cell so as this antigen is bound to mhc molecule and now this complex of antigen and mhc is transferred to the surface of this b cell now this complex is exposed to other immune cells so the t helper cells they recognize this complex and ultimately bind with this complex as they bind with this mhc and antigen complex they start releasing cytokines cytokines are the chemical messengers which give the message to other immune cells so these cytokines now they activate the b cells means they bind to the b cells and due to these cytokines the b cell get activated and after activation it start making its proliferation means it proliferate into plasma b cell and the memory b cell as i told and this plasma b cell it makes the antibody which ultimately kill the antigen so this procedure is generally the 
एंटी डिपेंडेंट बी सेल एक्टिवेशन प्रोसीजर एंड सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ एक्टिवेशन इज ऑल्सो देर दैट इज टी इंडिपेंडेंट एक्टिवेशन हेयर बी सेल डो नॉट रिक्वायर द टी सेल फॉर द एक्टिवेशन इट गेट एक्टिवेटेड डायरेक्टली सो हाउ दिस हैपन्स एज द बी सेल इज देयर नाउ द एंटीजन इज डायरेक्टली बाइंडेड टू द एंटीबॉडीज रिसेप्टर्स एंड एज दिस बाइंडिंग इज देयर सो हेयर दिस बी सेल गेट्स एक्टिवेटेड सो नाउ यू कैन क्लियरली सी this b cell is activated without getting any help from the t cell so that's why this is this procedure is known as the t independent b cell activation so once it get activated so similarly it will make the plasma b cells which ultimately make the antibody which will kill that particular antigen so these two type kind of activation process are there t independent and t dependent b cell activation but do remember one point in case of t independent b cells that there are no memory b cells formed during this type of activation now next is the differentiation of b cell as you know about the activation their maturation and ultimately now it's the differentiation of b cells so differentiation means when the b cell makes its other populations like here the navy b cell means the b cell which is you can say which is fresh which that do not encountered with any antigen so that cell is known as the navy b cell so here as the antigen bind to its receptor and ultimately it will differentiate into two kind of population first is plasma b cell second is memory b cells the plasma b cells they makes the antibody which will ultimately kill that particular antigen and memory b cells they are stored for the next immune response when the same antigen comes inside the body so they will act against that particular antigen so this is all about that how b cell mature activated and differentiated so this is all about for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much